Hey YouTubers and welcome to our first Lego City. Um, this is Bricklanta and this will be the first like city overview we do. Um, currently I'm going to use my cell phone for this but I will be using my other camera once I have a um, better lighting. Uh, but anyway here is the start of this thing. Um, it is by no means complete and it's not even in like the greatest state at the moment, but we feel like it's in a state to where we want to go ahead and put a video out for it. And then later on, just so you can see some of the changes that we're going to be making. Um, so I do apologize if it's not quite steady. I'm not using a tripod at the moment. And of course the lighting isn't the best it could be. But again, like I said, this is early. Um, we have the July 4th weekend coming up. I don't know what all we're going to be doing. I think I'm going to be adding a table. Um, I'll show off the table a little bit as well, just because um, the table itself, when I realized we wanted to do this, we went ahead and made, um, I went ahead and made a table design that I could um, make additions to. So the tables are kind of modular and they're pretty, and they're also simple and they're pretty cheap to make. I mean, I think the cost of it total is, I know it's under 50 bucks per table, but each table is a little longer than two by four foot, basically. Um, so, yeah, and then they can be connected with bolts, as I'll show you here. So it's a very simple design for the table, pretty much. Give you an idea of what it looks like. It's just basically a top screwed into the to a um, two by four made box. Uh, we don't have to do any cutting of the top because you can buy pieces like at Lowe's or Home Depot that are already 2x4 cut. Um, you could also just double the size of this and make a large one. Um, I have ideas for how to make multiple levels as well. So, like basically, we can make the city drop down and have like sub layers, so like a subway type system or whatnot. And we can do that. By simply just building off to the side here uh, we can drill holes in this and then have pieces that actually drop down to allow for you know a lower level same thing you could also go up as well so using bolts like this right here using these type of bolts um, we're able to take them on and off you can actually run um, a longer bolt to connect two tables together if you want so it's got options and it's the same thing can be said for the side so right now, currently, we don't really have a Lego room. Um, we are going to, the next place we move to, we're going to devote an entire huge area to a Lego city. Um, and also just to store the Legos that we have. Um, currently, this is like the den slash my wife's office. And so, as you can see, the fireplace in the background. And then she has her shelving over here. Um, which she has her own collectibles in that she has. So this is the room that the Legos are currently in. So let's go ahead and take a look at the city itself. So we do have a train that goes around. Um, as you can see here, this is a train track. This is the surrounding. Of course, we still have some areas where we don't have plates, like right here. Uh, we did recently add some plates on this side of it over here. Um, right now, currently, there's not many mocks. This is mostly, mostly just store-built stuff. Um, we have basically a city square here um, with a fairground going in the park in the center of this. Just because these are the pieces that we've found. We already had the larger creator sets that we've had for the most part for a few years, but they've just basically been in cabinets similar to the one over there that I just showed. Um, but we decided we wanted to kind of display this out. We wanted to make a city out of this. So just with all the store-bought stuff that we have... We wanted to put it out and um, you know, at least display it. Now, as we're watching more videos on YouTube and we're learning more about building, we've decided that we'll be doing more mocks. So we have a few mock ideas, um, so something like this where we're doing a bumper car thing. So we have like a work in progress here. We're going to expand this out a little bit more because it's kind of, you know, when you're visualizing this stuff, it's kind of hard to, you know, um, until you're just... Until you're more familiar with it, it's kind of hard to 
um, understand the space required for things. So we knew we wanted four bumper cars. And then so we used the design of this. This is from a Batman Joker set. Um, so we just bought more pieces and changed the colors up for those. Um, but yeah, and then we're making the, the actual bumper car little rink area here. And um, so that's going to be that's one of the first little things we've decided to work on. Another thing we decided to work on um, that is going to be for a raised train track. So this is just a test right here just to check the height and to see which pieces I wanted to do. Um, we decided that for, um, I mean, we've seen other, of course, train track, um, train tracks being raised. And so we decided with this one, instead of just doing like gray, that kind of matches like a, I guess a customary um, pillar system like you'd see in any city. We decided that we want to go with a color theme. So we're doing blue and white. And I think whenever we do, we're going to make a bus and maybe even some, uh, maybe even like a subway system or a, um, you know, subway cars and whatnot, we're going to go with the blue and white theme for all of that. So even though it kind of looks similar to like a police theme, like police cars like that, those are mostly white and blue, but we figured we'd go with the opposite of that, which is blue and white. We tested a few different colors out when we made these pillars, um, actually last weekend, and we really like the white with it. It kind of just stands out from that blue. So, yeah, so that's going to be a race train track. Um, it's going off the edge of the table here, which I plan on making another table. I think I'm going to make it to July 4th weekend. So, again, we wanted to go ahead and you know, have an update before we actually extend these tables out. Um, I know we're going to do a table coming off this side, and then I think we're going to do another table or two coming off this side um, before we end up moving next year sometime. So, so yeah, let's go ahead and look some more at what's here, what's going on. So, <laughs> right here we have the gas station van that came out, I guess, I think earlier this year or late last year. Um, but we have, of course, a you know, crazy teenager on top who's trying to pioneer van surfing. Seems to be going pretty well right now, but he really needs to watch out because he's already attracted the eye of the cops. So I have a feeling that's not going to work out very well. Of course, right here we have uh, two civil motorcycles here, civil workers that are on motorcycle. We have Duke Detain and then an unknown fireman. And they're just having a little conversation while they're kind of in some stop and go traffic. Um, we live in Atlanta, so we decided to name the city Bricklanta. Uh, we plan on having some Atlanta kind of specific um, mocks that we're going to build. I'm not going to say what they are just yet because we do want some kind of surprise. And I know at least one of them is going to be really cool, and it's probably going to be one we're going to work on really soon, in fact. Um, so we got to do some designing on that and order some pieces. But, you know, this is going to have some some area attractions that Atlanta has. So since we live in near Atlanta, we figured we'd go with Bricklanta as the name of the city. And so, yeah. So what we have, so we got our cops. We got ourselves the bank truck from the train set, and um, which is the cargo train set, which is the more recent cargo train set. And of course, I'll go ahead and fire the train up as well. Batteries are probably not super great right now, but should get it going anyway. Let's go ahead and get it going. There it goes. All right. I hadn't really tested. I haven't really ran it since I was over there testing those tracks. I'm glad it actually went through. Speed up a little bit if it has much juice. All right. Starting to get a little louder in here, as happens with the trains. We got our hot rod here, that's from the June Lego store promotion. Um, it's been 85 or more, you got that, so we have that. Of course we have the night bus. Um, we were not afraid to actually do any sort of um, different theme stuff. Our city will have maybe some Star Wars things and some Harry Potter things and some of the other themes that are in place. But it'll be done in a way that kind of makes sense. So the night bus can just pretty much be anywhere amongst all the muggles. All right. Here we have, um, I actually sent a picture of Instagram on this. It's a pizza guy. He just got here to the, um, the square assembly. 
the 10th, that's the 10th anniversary uh, Lego uh, modular building. And he's just arrived to deliver this pizza and he has no idea which floor, which building he needs to go to. So, um, up here, my wife is, she's always like having this ninja guy on top of her cinema, even in the, um, even when it was in a display case, it was like that. So, yep. We have here um, the cinema janitor. He is taking a break and doing a little air mop at the moment. Let's go ahead and turn the train off. Once it gets back into position, right there. Okay. All right. So we got the we got the janitor doing a little air mop on his break. We got the kid over here using his drone to do a little spying out here. I don't, I don't know what he's looking at or what he's looking for, but he's doing some craziness all right um this is our main street here it's not really a name so far just what i'm calling it um we got a few a few people going around here of course you got the premiere of the movie you got the starlet all right sorry about that okay so we've also got the tv truck here um, we have the news. They're they're actually covering the news. They they moved around a little bit, but they're right there. Um, they're just covering, just doing a little piece for the city, um, discussing what's going on out here. All right. Of course, we got our old style gas truck. We do have a little gas station over there that's not really on anything and not really set up quite how we want it yet, but it's here included. Ah, uh, let's see. Anything else going on over here? We've got a few things. Got a figure who fell down. Let me put him back on here real quick. He's over here by the barber shop. All right, so we've got, of course, the barber shop here. Pretty standard stuff. We do like this guy. We got him from the Lego store. One of the little three mini figs in a pack you can get. Um, he's similar to another one, which is kind of more expensive that we've seen. I think it's a mini fig from one of the previous sets. Um, but yeah, we like the umbrella he's holding there. Looked pretty good standing out there like he's waiting. Um, you know, we got our guy with the pretzel here. We've got a dog. Um, up here on the rooftop here, we've got a little tea party that's about to happen. And that's right there above on the assembly square. That's the rooftop on that. And then over here on the rooftop of the barbershop, we have little got an old lady here she's got it's like the grandma she's got the flamingo that she came with in the mini fig pack and she's got a nice little rooftop garden going on here try to get around there a little bit so you can see and my wife made this she really liked being able to do some flowers and stuff so um but yeah i like that a lot it's a nice little setup she did um back side of the thing here i just got a place to put the forklift till i can get a um, so we can make like a train yard for it and yeah I think that's about it so far um, get another view around the side over here yeah we have random family members going on out here we've got people ordering food no one on the rides yet we're going to try to get a lot more kid minifigs as well um let's see looking around making sure we have a few easter eggs as well like we've got the donut shot we have tony stark after in iron man 2 when he takes a break for fighting with Rhodey. he's sitting up there in the donut i thought that was a nice little easter egg to do um i thought this is funny over here we got the guy on the scooter Scooters aren't going to go very fast, especially if you do the ones that are like 50 cc's. Um, our son, he's the, the little town we live in. He um, he would ride around, and sometimes he'd have long lines of traffic <laughs> because he was kind of going too slow. And so you have all this traffic waiting to to catch up with him or to pass him when they can when they get a chance. Of course, we got more police cars. Of course, we got the driverless banana truck i'm not sure what happened to the driver there that needs to be rectified but anyway this is just an early look 
uh, what we have going on. We've got a lot more planned. It is kind of crowded at the moment too. So once we add another table and get some more road going off the side over there, that's going to increase some space. Once we get the overhead, we're going to have another passenger train. I think we're going to have the passenger train that's going to go above this area on the race track. So once the race track gets in here, that's going to be nice. Um, so yeah, um, we hope you guys will come along on the journey with us as we expand this and um, learn from it and, you know, just have fun. That's what this is all about. Anyway, um, if you like what you've seen, please follow, like, subscribe. Um, you know, we're doing this for fun and um, to hopefully, you know, talk with other Lego creators and get ideas, share ideas, because that's what this is all about. But yeah, uh, take care and we'll see you next time.